Hey everyone, my name is Kia, host of One One Outreach Christian Ministries Verse of the Day series. It's so great that you're able to join me for today's verse of the day. There's no better way than to start the day than in God's word. My hope is to better equip each viewer to live authentically for God by expounding and applying scriptures to our lives. Now, if you're ready to begin, let's get started. So today's verse of the day is found in Galatians chapter four, verse six. And because you are sons, God has sent forth the spirit of his son into your hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So Paul continues on this wonderful description in describing to us Christians um, the amazing truth that those who are in Christ Jesus are freed from slavery or freed from sin. He said and described in previous verses that you know, there was a wealthy son and we can just name that wealthy son, Israel. Israel had all the freedoms, had all the laws, had all the privileges and honors um, that was bestowed on them. But because they've abused all of these things, God's uh, plan, and, and even before the foundations of the world, this was God's plan, but God allowed the adoption of others into his kingdom. You know, Jesus Christ actually echoes the same thing when he talks about uh, going out in the streets and inviting people to this wedding, this, this, this wedding banquet. And he, you know, goes to all of, of, of uh, God's people and they say, oh, I got better things to do, or I got other things to do. I got to do this. I got to do that. And no one wanted to come. So Jesus went and it, well, he said that the, the person went and, and found other people who were not Israel, not like these, these elect um, few, and those people who would, the world would have called rejects or the underprivileged, they came into the banquet of the son of the bridegroom. And the amazing thing is that these two are actually connected because we as Christians, the Gentiles, non-Jews, have been adopted as God's children. Because of Israel's shortcomings or failures to represent God on this earth, we have been grafted in. Paul talks about being grafted in many times um, in his epistles, and that is, and that certainly applies to us. We have been grafted in into to the family of God. We have been adopted as children of God along with Israel. We are joint heirs with Christ Jesus. Paul reminds us that it's because of the Holy Spirit that we have been given um, confirmation um, that we are indeed children of God. One of the most popular questions that any believer, especially a new believer, asks is, how do I know that I am saved? We know that we are saved because of the Holy Spirit living inside of us. As I illustrated yesterday, the Holy Spirit cannot live inside of sinful man. So being as that you know that you have been saved and washed by the blood of Jesus Christ, you know that you have the Holy Spirit. And he confirms that because he enables us to cry out, Abba, Father. Abba means daddy or dada in the English term. So we know that we are children of God because we cry out. God, our Father. That's an amazing, impactful truth. None of us could live life for the, the purposes of God if not for the Holy Spirit. And whenever you begin to doubt or wonder if you are saved, remember, if you have believed in Jesus Christ and confess him with your mouth and believe in your heart, you are saved. And the Holy Spirit, may he make himself known to you, make himself real to you. And if you cry out, Abba, Father, maybe not those exact terms, but you recognize that God in heaven is your father, then you will be assured that you are saved. Thanks for watching. Comment below and share your thoughts on today's verse. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to this channel and click on that bell notification so you won't miss any new content that's released. If you would like to help us put more videos out like this one, click on the link in the description where you can donate to the ministry.
We appreciate your generous donations that help us to get the truth of God's word to all people all across the world. If you have any questions for myself or One One Outreach Christian Ministries, feel free to write us. The link is also in the description. Thanks for watching and helping us to proclaim the gospel, spread the love of Christ, and advance the kingdom of God. I'll see you next time.